Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Enigma and Sunshine. Today we have on the table our single action revolvers in the caliber from smallest. I have a 22 long rifle, 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, and a 45 long Colt. Also, for a comparison, I'm gonna put up a 9 millimeter, 9 by 19 there, and you guys can see how these rounds look like and as far as the revolvers I'll start from the down bottom below 22 long rifle six and a half inch barrel 22 long rifle six and a half inch barrel and it's a 357 magnum with a four and three quarter inch barrel five and a half inch barrel for us again for 357 magnum 44 magnum with a 6 inch barrel and then there is a 45 long cord with 7 and a half inch barrel and first three are Taylor firearms and this one is Uberti actually the Taylor is also part of Uberti they are this pretty much the same company and then this one is a heritage arms based off Florida and this one is HRR sportsman they don't make it anymore I guess but this also is a little bit different type of revolver we will see in a few minutes and we're gonna shoot all of them today and I'll show you guys what it feel like to hold it in the hand and the recoil and we'll see which one is my favorite all right we'll begin shortly thank you also for the cartridges we have the 22 long rifle Winchester some of them and these are 1435 feet per second and then we also have some CCI's which are 1250 feet per second for the 45 long cold I have three different types of one these are the hard cast 250 grains then these are 225 grains soft point and then the 250 grain lead one of it 44 magnum we have is 240 grain soft points and then I also have these 305 grain soft points as well as far as for the 357 magnums I have here uh, 158 or 160 grain soft points so we're gonna load them one by one and then we'll shoot them at a target so we're gonna load these and then we're gonna shoot and I'll show you guys how the recoil will be. So the 22 long rifle first. I have some CCIs here which are 1250 feet per second. I'm gonna hold nine so now is that heritage arms safety on and first click now we can load them we're gonna hold six so I have six with me Seven Magnum, single click, first one in, skip a chamber, second, third, four, and five, and now the hammer gonna rest on the empty chamber. This is another uh, 357 Magnum, this has already been loaded, and hammer is on the empty chamber right now. And for the 44 Magnum, I'm gonna go the lighter rounds first. These are the 240 grains standard. Gonna load them all three together. And gonna load 
rotate the cylinder. So now the hammer is on the empty. For the 45 long gold, I'm gonna go the 225 grain soft points first. Hammer on the single click. First one is in, skip a chamber. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now the camera person gonna go the other way around, sorry. And we're gonna shoot them one by one, starting with the 45, no. <laughs> starting with the h &R single action. So pull the hammer back, that's a single action thing. And there you go. It's a pretty accurate revolver. Don't have much recoil. Should be empty now. Yep. Click. And this is how you unload it. Now comes the H and R. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the heritage arms. So, again the single action. You pull the hammer back. Fire. Oh, it's on safe. Now it's on fire. Pull the hammer, there you go. Or you can fan this thing, since it's a 22 only, I'm gonna fan it. Empty, yep. I cannot fan this one. This is a short barrel and this one kicks. You're gonna see my hand go up every time I shoot this thing. 357 Magnum, folks. that high <laughs> I'll go one more simple regular which whatever equal I feel one more and the last one and now we are to the another 357 with a five and a half inch barrel a little bit longer less than one inch longer but this thing does not have recoil as bad as the the four and a three quarter inch barrel revolver. So let's begin again. Three fifty seven. Big boy, 44 Magnum with six inch barrel. And if you guys notice, this thing does not have the grooves like these have. This thing is more beefier, the cylinder, because it's a 44 Magnum, high pressure round. Well, we'll see. If it's louder than the 357 or it is not, let's find out. Definitely has more kick into it. Yeah. One more. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna load a few more into this 44 Magnum. And we're gonna see how those 305 grain perform. I'm gonna also shoot like, uh, maybe like one, two, in three of them as well so here they go 305 rain versus 240 grains before all right ready to shoot i'll go single hand uh, wasn't that that big of a difference A little, yeah, definitely a little, yeah. Oh yeah, a little. <laughs> That's what the 44 Magnum is. That's how you unload it.
magnum. Now we come down to the last one, the 45 long cord with a seven and a half inch barrel. Now this thing will not kick in compared to the, in compared to that 44 magnum, even the, this is a 44 magnum, it's a 45 long cord. They pretty much look very similar to each other, the diameter and the bullet weight and all that. But the 44 has a lot more recoil, a lot more energy. Uh, just because it's a newer cartridge versus this is like a 130 year old. <laughs> Alright, 45 long cold. It does have a kick. <laughs> Not as bad like the 44 but it does kick. I'm going to have a seven and a half inch barrel. But it is, it is a big boy cartridge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I've, I forgot. I have a few more 45 long cores. I'm going to shoot. Those are the hard cast. And those are 250 grains. And I have five of these. Oops, sorry. So here you go, skip one chamber, second, third, again. And it's coming down on the empty. Yep. So hard cast let's see how they perform actually these are HSM hard cast and they're supposed to be it was written on the box cowboy loads they, so they're not kicking as bad as the 225 grainers these are heavier 250 but they are they have less kick oh yeah and they have a little bit kind of a smoke coming out of the barrel cowboy loads <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, 45 you can do, 44 is tough. All right, I have one bullet, one cartridge left of the 45 long gold, which is a 255 grain lead. And let's see what this will do. Okay, there you go, 250 grain lead. Oh. Misfire, I'm gonna try it again. Oh, a lot of smoke. <laughs> All right, that's it guys. This was the last of it, 45 long coat. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.